move on with Media Watch with James Creedon. Hi there, James. Hi, Catherine. And you're going to be starting us off uh, in the Middle East. Uh, we've been talking about the uh, ongoing fighting in Syria. Uh, there's also, just next door in Iraq, uh, a lot of unrest, violence, and uh, incredibly worrying situation for many people. Mm. Uh, lots of media coverage of that. That's right. There was the storming of uh, the parliament in in Baghdad uh, this uh, this Saturday. Uh, the unrest, which was it, it resulted in um, its supporters of the Shiite cleric Muqtada al Sadr uh, storming the Iraqi parliament. In any case, lots of unrest, which is perhaps not unusual, and we tend to switch off because the headlines are so consistently uh, catastrophic. But it did reach a peak this weekend. Iraq hanging by a thread, says foreign policy. Why Obama's Iraq policy is collapsing, uh, says uh, the National Review. You see this cartoon in the Arab language Al Ausat uh, website showing a dismembered Iraq, the country falling apart. This image got retweeted loads over the weekend. Why? It's a little, it's a, a maybe not a little boy, but a teenager diving into a pool near the green zone. And well, it's the fall of Saddam's statue dive, reminiscent of this. Mm. And many people saying 13 years on, what really has changed? You know, we're still seeing Saddam statue dives, if you like, that boy at least uh, reproducing the scene. And in many ways, 13 years later, the West has failed to install said operational democracy is one way of reading it. Certainly things are not improving. And, uh, in a sign that all is not well in Iraq, uh, there's a crackdown on certain media organisations. That's right. Uh, this, this is Human Rights Watch on their website talking about how Al Jazeera has been closed in Iraq. Uh, it was told to uh, shut up shop and head off. And this comes after in March, the commission uh, uh, that, that oversees this in, uh, in Iraq shut down the Cairo-based privately owned Al Baghdadiya television. So really we're seeing a real crackdown on media freedoms in Iraq. Reporters Without Borders ranked Iraq 153 out of 180 uh, for 2016 in terms of safety for news media staff. Uh, so I suppose that's an indication of the general uh, climate in the country. Another indication, what about doctors, medical doctors? The Wall Street Journal today reporting that Iraq's doctors face threats of violence constantly. You're seeing, uh, in fact, uh, uh, the country's doctors uh, are, are exposed to revenge attacks from grieving families, from powerful tribes, militia leaders. Doctors in some of the bu busiest emergency wards are saying that they are experiencing shouting matches and fist fights between doctors and patients' families. 330 doctors left the country in the last two and a half months of 2015. I mean, I think it's a pretty serious indicator of a country in mega crisis. Indeed. All right, let's move on to something a bit different now, some science news. Uh, and if you look out to the night sky and wonder, is anything out there? Well, apparently the answer is possibly three planets that we could actually live on. Right. The internet's been reacting to this. It has indeed. I mean, people like to hear that we could potentially camp off to another planet if we finish off uh, the catastrophes that are happening already here. Three Earth-like planets orbiting a nearby star could have life and water. Now, this was research done at the University of Liège in Belgium. Uh, they are our best chance of detecting life. This, of course, echoes uh, observations by the chief scientist of NASA that within 10 years we will probably have discovered alien life. That's the head scientist of NASA saying it. And uh, indeed, this is in the uh, constellation Aquarius, these three planets. They're around a little mini dwarf star known as Trappist-1. And uh, it's, planet, it's the Aquari Aquarius constellation. And indeed, it is the high probability that there is water on these three planets uh, that is getting everybody, well, at least uh, space nerds excited. And it's a mere, as some headlines are pointing out, a mere a mere 40 light years away, which means oh, just, just around the corner. a hop, skip and a jump in space uh, Can distances. Can you get a bus there? Well, perhaps in the future. <laughs> this is what uh, people are looking to. Also, apparently, lots of uh, rings, which stop giving Saturn all the glory, says For <laughs> Forbes Tech News. Oh, Saturn will be put this, out. This is it. <laughs> so Forbes Tech News apparently uh, saying, sa step aside Saturn, indeed. Uh, these three planets have also have gorgeous planetary rings. So lots of excitement about that. And because everything has to be connected back to uh, the US presidential election, <laughs> to all the Americans threatening to move to Canada if Trump wins, here are some other options. So there you go. As I was saying, uh, when we finally mess everything up here, we'll have a choice of three other planets a mere 40 light years away. Uh, I'm going to put a positive spin on that. Thank you very much, James <laughs> Creed. That sounds like lovely news uh, there in Media Watch.